Hello mga Mathusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ang ituturo ko sa inyo ay kung paano ba mag-identify at mag-sketch ng parts ng parabola given the focus and a vertex at the origin. Ito yung learning task number 5 ni No, tapos yung problem number 1 kung saan ibinigay yung focus ibinigay yung vertex na nasa origin, paano mo ngayon i-identify at ang parts at i-sketch siya, okay? Pero bago kasi mula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguradihin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button o pindutin na at syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na. Simulan na natin. Okay. So, ano ba yung mga information na meron tayo? Ang alam natin, ang focus natin. O, teka. Okay. So, we have this one. Meron tayong focus na ang given ay 08. And meron tayong vertex at the origin which is 00. So, ang H natin 0, ang K natin 0 din ha. Okay. Now, paano natin yan? I-graph muna natin ha. Yung vertex natin nandito. Okay. 0. And then, yung focus natin at 08. Ito. So, this is a V and this is F. Ngayon, para ma-identify natin yung P, yun yung distance ng vertex to the focus. So, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, ang P natin dito ay equals kay 8. Okay? O, dahil ito ay ang vertex, ah, sorry, ang focus ay nasa taas ni vertex, it means yung graph natin ay mag-open upward. Okay? So, sige, identify na natin ha. May focus na tayo, may vertex na tayo. Can, I, can we identify yung ating standard form using this one? Pwede, di ba? So, we have here x minus h squared is equal to 4p y minus k. Okay, so we have x minus h, ang h natin ay 0, so x k, x minus 0 is x, so this is x squared only, equals to 4, tapos ang p natin ay 8, And then, y minus k is simply y. So, we have here, x squared is equal to 32y. So, ito yung standard form natin, ha? Nang, ay, uh, standard equation or standard form nung uh, parabola na may focus na 0,8 at may vertex na 0,0. Okay, now, pwede na natin kunin yung uh, lattice rectum or yung endpoints ng lattice rectum number 1 or yung first. Okay? Ang formula natin dyan, we have negative 2p. Ito ay nasa mga muzol nyo naman to ha. Tingnan nyo na lang. And then p. Okay? So, you will have your negative 2 times. Ang p natin ay 8. And then 8. Okay? So, you will have your negative 2 times 8 is negative 16 and 8. So, ito yung first lattice rectum natin. So, asa yan? Negative 16 8, negative 10, hala, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, o nyari hanggang dyan ha, ayan, 16, negative 16, and then positive 8, inabot siya, ah, iusog ko, teka, mga anak, sorry, wait lang ah, post ko, Ayan, ah, mga anak, hindi ko na binilang, ha? Inapproximate ko na lang. Kunyari, nandito si negative 16 and nandito si positive 16, ha? So, ang ating first lattice, end point ng first lattice rectum natin ay negative 16, 8. So, negative 16 and then 8 nandito. So, dapat katapat ni negative 16, katapat din ni 8. Okay. And then, yung second naman, we have LR2 natin. Yan na lang yung symbol natin for the lattice rectum, ha? So, we have there 2P and then P. So, we have 2 times 8 and then tas 
8 yung pin natin, di ba? So, 2 times 8 is 16, and then 8. So, eto ay nasa 16, 8. So, nandito si 16, nandito si 8. So, nandyan siya. Okay, and then yung directrix natin. Sorry. Directrix. X dapat. Wait. For a while, ayan. Directrix natin ay equals yung equation, ha? This is y uh, equals to negative p. So, y is equal to negative 8. Okay? So, asan si negative 8? Nandito. So, ang directrix natin ay nandito. Okay. Kasi yung P natin ay 8 din dapat yung layo mula sa anong directrix natin papunta dun sa ating vertex. Kaya yung sa taas 8 dito, negative 8 din. Dapat pareho sila ng distance. And then, yung axis of symmetry natin, of symmetry, 3. Okay. Is equal to <coughs> excuse me. X is equal to H. So, dahil lang H natin ay 0, so X equals to 0. So, nasan yun? Nandito. Okay. Perpendicular siya dapat doon sa ating directrix. O, ayan ha. Broken na lang siya para mabilis ninyong ma-identify. And then, we graph. Paano ang itsura ng ating parabola? Ayan. Okay. So, that's it. We have our focus, our vertex, our P, standard form. The endpoints of lattice rectum, we have negative 16 and 8, and then 16 and 8. The directrix is negative 8, and then the axis of symmetry is x equals 0. Then, complete na. Now, let's go to number 2. Ayan, for number 2 naman, we have to identify and sketch the parts of a parabola given the focus and the vertex not on the origin. Ibig sabihin, wala naman sa origin yung vertex natin. Now, we have, now we have here, a parabola has a vertex of 8, negative 4, and, eight, and the focus at 6, negative 4. So, i-identify natin yung mga parts. Okay? So, let's have this one. Alam natin na ang vertex ay, ayan na, nakalagay. 8 and then negative 4, which happens to be our H and our K. And then, our focus is 6, negative 4. If we are going to graph this one, 8, negative 4, as yan? So, 8, negative 4, nandito yan. And then, yung focus natin is at 6, negative 4. Ayan. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung focus natin ay nasa kaliwa ng ating vertex. Which will give us the idea na ang ating graph will open to will open to the right. Ah, to the left. Ang opening natin, kung ito ang x and y uh, axis natin, ang opening natin ay dito. Nasa left na siya. Ha? So, which means, uh, pag gumawa tayo ng uh, standard form natin, ang naka-square dito ay yung ating y. O, sige, gawin na muna natin yun. Ha? So, ito ating vertex. Ito ang ating focus. Okay? So, with that, we have y minus k squared equals to 4p x minus h. So, ito yung magiging standard form natin. So, we have here ma y minus, ang k natin ay negative 4 equals to 4p. Pero, ano pala yung p natin? Identify muna natin yung p natin. Ano ang distance ng v kay f? Or, dun yung vertex natin kay focus. We have 1, 2. Diba? Dalawa. So, we have p as 2. E. Wait, i-delete natin yung ano. Yung sinulat ko para hindi kayo malito. Ay, ayaw ma-erase ng solo. Talaga ba? Teka. Ayan. So, ang P natin dito ay 2. Kasi gagamitin natin siya dito eh. So, ang P natin ay, palitan na natin to. This is 2. And then, X, anong H natin? 8. Okay, so y minus, yung square nito, y minus negative 4 is y plus 4 
squared equals to uh, 4 times 2 is 8. And then we have x minus 8. Okay. So, ayan na. Ito na standard form natin. Chinek ko lang. Okay. Dahil meron na tayo nan, pwede na natin kunin yung latus rectum natin. Latus rectum, endpoints ng latus rectum ha, number 1. So, ang formula na gagamitin natin dito, tingnan nyo dyan sa module ninyo ha. Nandyan yung formula kapag kunyari yung y yung naka-squared, nandyan naka-table dyan para hindi na kayo mahirapan. So, we have here h minus p and then k minus 2p. Pero ito, isusulat ko na rin para guided kayo. So, ang h natin, ah, I, ang H natin ay 8, okay, minus ang P natin ay 2, and then K natin is negative 4, minus ang uh, minus 2, tapos ang P natin ay 2. So, we have 8 minus 2, that is 6, and then we have here negative 4 minus 4, and that is negative 8. Okay? So, 6, negative 8. Paano naging negative 8? Ito ay negative 4 minus 4. K, C, C. So, keep, change, and change. So, negative 4 plus negative 4, negative 8. Okay? Now, for the second latus rectum, end point of latus rectum natin, we have H minus P and then K plus 2P naman. Kanina minus, ngayon plus naman. So, H minus P, you have 8 minus 2. And then, K natin is negative 4 plus 2 times 2. So, we have 8 minus 2 is 6. And then, negative 4 plus a 4, that is 0. Okay? Now, for the directrix, that is x, ha? Dahil ang naka-squared natin ay y, ang directrix natin ay x ngayon. So, x is equal to h plus p. Ang h natin ay 8 plus 2. So, you will have there 10. Okay, and ang ating axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry, ito naman ngayon yung magiging y natin, ha? So, y is equal to k, so k is equal to negative 4. Okay, now let's try to graph everything. Okay, ang ating LR1 ay 6, negative 8. So, 6, negative 8, nandito siya. 6, negative 8. Ito ang LR1 natin. And then, yung pangalawa ay 6, 0. 6, 6, 0. Ito yun. 6, 0. Ito yung LR2 natin. And then, ang ating directrix ay 10. So, asan yun? Nandito. So, ito ang ating directrix. Ayan. Diretso lang. Ayan. And ang ating symmetry ay y is equal to negative 4. Ito yun. O ha, broken lines na lang ilalagay ko dyan. Kung ano yung sinabi ng teacher nyo, yung igawin ha. Pero para lang hindi kayo malito. And then we graph na. So, asin ang graph natin? Ito ang vertex natin. So, we have this one and then this one. Ayusin na lang yung graph ninyo. Ayan na! So, we have this for number 2. Ngayon, yung tatlo pang example sa susunod ko ng video, ha? Pero gagawin ko na rin siya para may guide na rin kayo. Ngayon, kung natutunan nyo ang video na ito at natulungan ko kayo kung paano nyo ba gagawin yung learning task number 5 ninyo, please i-comment yan sa ating comment section, ha? Mga anak, please don't forget to put your comments. Help me up this video by putting your comments. Kahit smiley, kahit heart, kahit thank Thank you. Basta wag aalis nang hindi nagko-comment ha. Kasi yun yung way para mas makita pa ng iba yung video natin. And syempre, wag kalimutang i-share sa mga classmates ninyo para din naman may guide sila. Wag kayong selfish ha. I-share. And please visit me to our, in our Facebook page, Love Math. TV. Pa-follow naman mga anak. Sana hindi, na, hindi kayo nagsasawa marinig ito. Kaya lang kasi hindi pa rin kayo nagpa-follow. Kaya please follow our Facebook page. And syempre, laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!